We're here at the famous Shiny Hotel built in 1911. This was all the original 18. We had homes here where the guys would stay. Um, but now like all this is, is what, this the, it's the white nine. Okay, that's what. So that's been like added some holes, but you'll, there's a couple original that's things cool. out there. So, like you have Walter Hagen here. Wow, that's cool. 16, there's like a few other names on there. Now maybe you want to play the original layout here, which is the blue and the red cores. And we played the white course, which is supposed to be as nice. This used to be farmland here that was converted to the white course soon later. After they put together the 18 holes of golf by Tittinglass, it was Bill Diddley who built this course here, nine holes, the white course, built in 1964. And really, you couldn't tell the difference between a Tittinglass part of this course or a Bill part of this course. I can't get over how nice this par three is. I think it's gonna go the other way. Man, that's that's about my fifth shot today that made my heart just pound like you had a couple good ones pump with joy the course has a lot of easter eggs throughout it a lot of characteristics it's a fun course it makes you smile when you come out here and play a 27 hole on an island type feel private island at the time and being constructed on an island there's nothing interesting more than that in regards to golf design that's what we're trying to do on this channel learn about some of these historical courses that were almost engineering marvels like this one here located right in the middle of a river pieces of this old bridge that was taken apart piece by piece, which I think gave it a lot of character, even though we have the brand new bridge that was built. Now the facility dates back to 1911, with rumors of the PGA actually being formed on the fairways during conversations with some of the famous people that were at this course. Now that was the blue and the red course, which we didn't play in this video. This video is only going to talk about the white course. That's so a little frustration. Me and there's going to be videos coming out targeting those other courses that we played here. Now, nice. This is a top-notch facility. I got a 52. We were grateful to go out there and play on a beautiful day. And there's something special happening at this facility. Nice, dude. Great shot. About. It wasn't the original owner that That's a great shot. Good concentration on that. Nine holes there's here, a squirrel which is nest, the white right? course that was yeah, there's a squirrel up there. developed by the next yeah. owner, who was Fred Warning, in 1943 when he purchased the course. And then forming a nine hole course. Nice, Joey. Time with Jackie Gleason was floating around. He's back. It was just a famous time. It was just a I great mean, look time at to this. be there. There's nowhere to even miss on this par three here. Uh, so far, this white course is probably my favorite out of all of them. I don't think I would have realized that. Now, Fred was a famous musician who purchased this facility, and I give him a lot of credit for turning this into a yeah, that's where I want it. Nine hole golf course to top off this <laughs> island and, and just making uh, it no, I swung too hard on it. of famous golf in this facility. The white course had its touch of professional events taking place, or at least amateur professionals. The NCAA championship host, it was 1967. So it was at least taking place at this facility when the course was opened, the white course. I thought that the white course might have been better than the blue course. I think I'm going to at least say that towards the end of the video that I don't know how much I love a titting glass type design. So we're going to focus on a video of bald eagles sneaking right through the course, as you can see right here. This was an experience. This was well worth a hundred dollar bill for anyone to go out and play and enjoy. There's a lot of water cutting through the white course. So that kind of pushed it over the edge. Edge. at least I thought it was nicer than the blue course now, there's still the red course so hopefully we get out there and play the red course but there's no guarantee we can get back in the meantime we're just going to end this video with the hats off to this facility it's an easy 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale of our golf reviews that's going to do it for our video keep a lookout for more videos to come this is the parfessor